Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a new brand of coffee. This is Cold Stone Creamery new Coffee. To us, at least. New to us, yes, new to us. I have not seen it around here, have you? Um, I may have, I just don't remember. I don't remember seeing it. There's so many coffees on the shelf though that you it, lose you track. Lose track of yeah, them. You so it may have been really there for do. years. I don't so know. yeah, if somebody in the area will be like, oh, they have that, but yeah. uh, truly we've never noticed it. Uh, this is the caramel latte. And I have the pecan frilly. These were $7.99 each at Christmas tree shops. And did I say Mish Mish and some? Mish Mish, did, Mish did, and some. Uh, these from Michigan. So what we've done is we're going to try these the way we try other coffees for the first time. Uh, we put uh, just the amount of sugar that we prefer in each cup, and uh, we didn't put any creamer in it. So uh, we want to see if we can really taste it. This is a caramel latte. It says our car caramel latte has a rich, creamy taste of sweet caramel blended with 100% espresso beans to make a delightful cup that will wake you up and brighten any day www.coldstonecreamery.com so i guess these are on their website yeah and they're uh, they're medium they're both medium roast coffees so they have a picture of like a muffin on their front a muffin mm -hmm. a muffin a muffin oh it's inside an ice cream like a waffle cup that looks really good that looks like something that i could just bite it's into not ice cream you know what i'm an idiot <laughs> Wow. It's not a muffin, it's ice cream. Duh. Oh. These are some cold cream You did ice say cream. muffin. Yeah. I meant, I meant you, ice cream. Well, you know what? I can see where if you glanced at that, you could think that that was a muffin. Yeah, I didn't realize it was. I thought it was yeah. a muffin until you said that. You could think it was a muffin, but it's in a waffle, one of those mm -hmm. waffle bowls. When you said that, it's like, oh. And it's it's like dipped in chocolate and it's chocolate around the mm -hmm. top and then it has the ice cream um, in the middle. I like that. That's a good coffee. It's like good, it. but it, I don't think it tastes like caramel. I don't really get a caramel flavor. I don't. Maybe a touch of caramel, but not a lot. It's not bad though. It's it's a even without the creamer, it's got a good flavor to it. It's not bitter. It's smooth. Yeah, there's not one thing wrong with it. It's just not uh, not, caramel. not strong on the caramel. Yeah, because yeah. you're used to drinking um, uh, a. Butter, butter coffee. coffee, which is kind of similar to caramel, and, and, and it's very strong. Butter. I can really, really taste right. the flavor of the butter toffee, and so um, I'm wondering if this is a, if is this something you will drink because it's more like a regular coffee. It is more like a regular coffee, just a little sweeter tasting. So would this appeal to you? It wouldn't be one I would buy again. I mean, if you didn't want to drink it, I would drink it, but it's not one I would actually go out and buy myself. Just right. Just because I don't really like flavored coffees that. I mean, I'm not a, like a, I have to have that flavored so coffee. So it doesn't taste enough like regular coffee to satisfy you. Mm. That's what I'm asking you. No, because it doesn't have that strong coffee flavor. Okay, I got it's you. It's a little lighter okay. flavor than, than I'm used to. I understand. It. Although it's good, like I said, it's definitely good enough and I may drink it. Um, okay, so the caramel, I mean the pecan praline, is coffee is steeped in a southern in the southern flavors of creamy pralines and sweet pecans and is made from only 100 percent uh, select arabica coffee beans arabica. so this is i would think would be stronger maybe hmm. you probably don't like this down no, I didn't mind it. I do get a little bit of the pecan, but... It definitely has a different flavor. It, yes, it has a different flavor from the caramel, but once again, it's not strong enough for me to want to go out and buy, to spend $8 on a box. Yeah, it, it tastes like, you know, praline, I always think of praline is like burnt sugar. Mm -hmm. It kind of has that burnt sugar flavor, but beyond that, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't really get the pecan necessarily. It's not strong. But I don't know that I've ever had a coffee that said it was pecan that actually tasted pecan. I have. Have you? Yes, I have had some. But yeah, this this just isn't, um, this, like we said, uh, Mish Mish, we appreciate it greatly. I know uh, she sent me a video of these and when she showed them to me, there was a whole wall of these. So I mean, they have like many, many, many different flavors. After trying these two, I would probably stop it at that and would not, I mean, yeah. you know, There's if she wrong. wants me to try more, of course I'll try more. Um, however, you know, if she were to send me more, I would try them. But 
just going from these two, it's just not uh, one that, that I would spend my $8 again on again, and I don't think she should either. I tell you, I think. Which one do I like the best? I, I like think the, I like the caramel. I like the pecan better. It has almost a chocolate kind of smell to it. Smell that. I like the caramel latte. Smell that and see if you don't smell like chocolate on that. Yeah, I, yeah, it does. It has like um, a chocolate smell to it. I like the pecan better because it has that little bit, um, I'll say bolder flavor. And I like the caramel because it doesn't have that bold flavor. Yeah. You like strong coffee. I like coffee. a stronger coffee though. So that's better for And you can see how much different it is. It's much darker. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, this isn't dark green. That's an orange. But still, it seems darker. Um, the coffee itself does. So I would do the pecan. You would do and the I would do caramel if, you if I was going to spend my money, but I'm not going to. Yeah. So I appreciate Mish Mish spending her money and sending them to this. <laughs> so if any of you all, if you have tried the Cold Stone Creamery coffee, if you've tried other flavors and you thought, wow, these blew me out of the water, I think they're really, really strong, then you can let me know that they might be worth trying. So otherwise, I'm just going to call it a day and mark that off the list. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.